What's up guys, I'm Sam Tagger with DDD Experts and we've trained 60,000 sales reps in door-to-door, -door, over 1,300 companies and we've been doing this for eight years and so in this video I'm gonna actually walk you through how to start a door-to-door -door program or maybe just restart your door-to-door -door program because so many people, they've tried it, they're like, ah, it doesn't work, but I'm here to tell you it works if done right. It doesn't work if you get a bunch of like Craigslist dudes with face tattoos that are just coming out of prison and you're like, go knock, good luck, I hope you bring me money. That is an ultimate failure and so I'm gonna walk you through how to avoid that and the tools, the things you need in order to succeed in door-to-door. -door. And it's a very minor investment, but you can make tons of money as, as a company and it is very scalable. Where sometimes traditional ads and marketing, it's hard to scale because the more money you throw at it doesn't necessarily mean the more deals you get. And a lot of you are probably in the deficiency of people. And some of you might be even considering like the current salespeople I have, could they even really be called salespeople? Because most of the people I run into when I consult, and I've personally consulted over 350 companies, let alone all of our experts team on how many they've consulted. What I found is a, is a common problem. I'm gonna walk you through this. And, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a secret that I found is the number one biggest pain point. So if you haven't already, go check out some of our other videos and hit subscribe and or click the link below and just schedule a demo with one of us and one of our guys will do a full audit of your company and even tell you not to do it or to do it because I don't care if you're selling windows, roofing, satellite, fiber, like whatever. There's so many different use cases we've seen to be very successful under a simple formula. So door to door is really simple. You go to a neighborhood and you knock on a door and then you say, do you want it? In its simplest form. And if they say no, you move to the next one and you go to neighborhoods that have your qualified prospects and buyers. So the way to start a door-to-door -door program is to understand, to scale this, it really is, comes down to this formula. Reps times opportunities times closing percentage equals more money. So that is our, we call this the D2D formula, okay? And right now you might have zero reps. So the real thing we need to figure out is how do we go recruit? And recruiting seems to be one of the hard parts today because you're like, okay, do I pay them W-2? Do I, can I like pay them 1099? So you have W-2 versus 1099. I recommend everybody, if they're starting a door-to-door -door program, does 1099. And the benefits are, is they can set up an LLC, set up and pay themselves an S-Corp. You save on some of the insurance and stuff like that. So I would go this route and it's very reasonable. So now you're like, okay, recruit a bunch of 1099 guys. Where do I get them? So there's a few places you can go. The first places I would go is your circle, then your circle circle, and then I would go to using things like Indeed or Facebook marketing. So you do like a funnel to go get applicants. And this would be like kind of an internet marketing approach. But I think you could go build a team of five to 10 guys just by sending out texts and emails and, and Facebook messages to people in your circle and the current employees that you have. So now that you find some potential prospects, you then sign them, right? You're like, hey, we're gonna sign them, but sign them into what program, right? You're like, we don't even have anything door to door. So let's talk about this program. So the problem right here, so we'll kind of do this. The problem with the program is if you have not done door to door in the past and you expect to send out your guys and be like, cool, as long as you go knock today, go 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 hit it, what's what's normal, what's not. And this is where DDD Experts helps customize as we consult with companies, we have our online academy to help you with this program. So let's, let's break this down. So we'll go with opportunities. If I tell human brain to go just knock doors today, the likelihood of them actually going longer than 10 doors, they'll knock this one, get a no, knock this one, get a no, got, knock this one, now they're discouraged and they're probably gonna go home after the first hour and be like, this isn't working. So first off, I've gotta set a better expectation of like you are going to get no's. Stay consistent, stay trained, stay hungry, and eventually you're gonna get a yes. And it's like, oh my gosh, how cool is this? We got somebody that's interested. And you're gonna focus there. So first off, set the right expectation and realize that happens. But psychology, if somebody's like just told to go knock, their motivation being a lone wolf is not going to work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to do what's called like a car group or something and get these people all going in a mom mentality. So throw four to five of these dudes in the car and say, let's all cruise out together and you get this area, you get this area, you get this area, you get this area, and now we're all in this together. Meaning you're not out there by yourself, sitting there trying to be the door-to-door -door guy or whatever. Many people, 
they think lead from the behind. If you're an owner and a small business, you got to lead from the front on this one until, and I will say this, you have at least one sales rabbit steadily pace setting in front being like, Hey, follow me. They're initiating the activity. They're the ones pushing and driving. They're the ones that are like making the motivation for everybody to do a hard job. They're herding the cattle. And if you leave it up to everybody, we call it sales inertia. What's on the couch stays on the couch. What's in motion stays in motion. And they need an active leader to put them in motion. And that probably is going to start with you, whether you like it or not. So let's like break down the team structure here. So you have a manager, which at the beginning is probably you, and you have reps. Eventually, you can have a regional manager, then you have a divisional manager or whatever that then has a few teams, right? And you can grow this thing infinitely. And you want to build your pay to structure that way. Now, if you're starting a door-to-door -door program from nothing, you obviously need this, and this is probably the most important, but I would even say a setter manager, meaning somebody that's knocking eight hours a day not like oh i'm in demos i'm in appointments it's they're doing the same thing that these people are doing they're out in the trenches doing the hard thing so if it's not this person go get this person that is doing the knocking and that is a key point where most people fail and then you're like well how do i find this person there's tons of them out there and that's what we do is we teach you a dd experts how to go find them okay so now what's the expectation so the program leads to you should be knocking around 100 doors a day. So when you're first starting, that might seem daunting. Like if I were to ask you to start going back to the gym, you haven't been in six years. So maybe you start at 50 doors and you need something to track this. So we have a thing. If you go to the D to D CRM dot com, we give you a free knocking app that literally is on your phone that tells you what pins and dispositions, not home, things like that. So I would go get a knocking app and that's going to give you something to track who's where. When you're assigning area, you're like, you do it in this app. You're like, this guy's got this, this guy's got this, this guy's got this, etc. Now, you know, how many doors did they knock? They talk, you know, so let's say you can see how many pins. They dropped 100 pins. Well, 30 of them were not interested. 10 of them were, you know, callbacks. 10 of them were set appointments, etc. And you now have a leaderboard and statistics of what's happening, which then turns me into the next piece. How much are they training? Here's the secret to running a successful door-to-door -door program. If you aren't somebody that knows what you're doing, your confidence goes like this. If you're somebody that's like, oh, I know my pitch back and forth. I freaking know every objection handling skill. I know everything. Well, I'm freaking badass at this. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to be badass at this. But if you're new to door-to-door -door and this isn't your forte, you're going to want to call us and get our training. So we have step-by-step -step videos on so many different industry-specific content on how to go knock doors. Proven over 60,000 students have gone through our platform. So first off, schedule a demo by clicking the link below, and we will walk you through our exact training system of how we implement that with a company, a team, or an individual person. So I found that people that have low confidence do not last. If you have high confidence and you know how to do it, your results keep going like this. Okay, so let's break this down even more. We go back to the formula. So closing percentage is going to be 100% contingent on two things. And this is where most people would say, obviously, training. Wrong. <laughs> closing percentage has a lot to do with your culture. Meaning, is it expected of them to sell more? We just took one of our clients' title out of uh, their home you know, remodeling company and roofing retail company out of San Diego. Their average dude was selling 100K traditional marketing. We implemented door to door, we implemented our systems, we implemented our culture systems. Now their average dude is doing 250K a month in door to door. And nothing changed, same 10 guys. And what's crazy, they're doing over 2 million something a month. And what's crazy is same people, same product, same this, but the expectation to sell more went up. Their training didn't necessarily change, got a little better because we started working with them, but the expectation and how we implement a culture of how do we get our guys being super dogs and making tons of money for the company and for themselves. And that's where I found a lot of people fail in door-to-door. -door. When they implement a culture, it's like this sidestep child that's like, I want to start a door-to-door -door thing and nobody cares. 
versus this is like our bread and butter. Watch what happens. And I guarantee you, I put a foot soldiers, a bunch of ninjas in a neighborhood of 30. And all of a sudden you play me versus your ads. I will kick everybody's butt because I have 30 well-trained assassins going straight to a target market that I have told them to go focus on. And I'm a carnivore where most people are being herbivores out there. So if you're wanting something like a carnivore culture, or you wanting to implement training, you wanting to recruit, we have all of those different programs for you. So I just click the link and schedule a demo with us. And we have tons of other free videos, but I guarantee you when you personalize this thing to you and your company, all of a sudden things take off. So what are you waiting for? Hope to see you guys on the phone. If not, go keep checking out more of our videos.